Why should the people trust you more than those 220 scientists who say that this radiation is harmful? Everybody can believe what they want. It's up to people to decide what they should believe. ICNIP has no single physician on its staff. They are deciding about health effects, but there is no single physician and there never has been single physician. And they claim that safety limits protect everybody, no matter age or health status. But this claim is just assumption because there is no research that would address these issues. The majority have signed the EMF science appeal, which is almost 250 scientists and all with their own research. We're going to see a huge increase in brain cancer. I have been incredibly worried at the number of kids that I'm seeing that's coming in with malignant brain tumors. Long-term use of mobile phones is associated with a doubling of the risk of being diagnosed with certain brain tumors. I actually think it may be a, a conservative estimate. Many different reproductive effects impact male reproduction, female reproduction, causes spontaneous abortion, lowered levels of the sex hormones, lowered libido. There are data now which are quite strong that you've got damage that's occurring to DNA at virtually all levels of exposure. Various exposures to the fetus in pregnancy may result in lasting damage and may have some defects that aren't even apparent until later in life.